Hello, my name is Lefra Zela. I am from IMBA, eighth semester, roll number two from Imizoro University. In this video, I am presenting about ethics and technology in business ethics. First, what is the definition of ethics and technology? What is ethics? Address the issue of what is right and what is just and what is fair. It describes moral principles influencing conducts uh, accordingly. It is a study of eight her focus on the action and values in the society. And next point is what is technology? It is a branch of knowledge that deals with the creations and the use of technical means and their intellectual with life, society and environment. It may draw upon the variety of fields including uh, industrial arts, engineering, applied science or poor science. And the combinations of ethics and technology what is ethics of technology ethics in technology is a subfield of ethics addressing the ethical questions specific to the technology aids and my next point is types of technology ethics technology ethics are principles that can be used to govern technology including factors like risk management management and individual rights uh, the, uh, they are basically used to understand and resolve moral issues that have to do with the developments and obligations of technology of different types and there are many types of different uh, technology ethics Number one are access rights. Uh, it means about the access of empowering technology as a right. And number two, accountability. It is a decision made for who is responsible when considering success or harm in technological advancement. Number three is digital rights. It is the protection intellectual property rights and privacy rights number four environment is how to produce technology that will harm the environment and number five existing existential risks it's about the technology that present a threat to the global quality of life portating to extinction and number six is freedom technology that is used to control a society rising questions related to freedom and independence number seven health and safety it's about health and safety that are increased and improved by technologies and the next point is human enhancement human genetic engineering and human machine integration Number nine, human judgment. It's a question about when the decision by judge by when the decision be judged by automation and when do they acquire a reasonable human. And number ten, over automation. Automa automation. When does automation decrease quality of life and start affecting society? And number 11, precaution principles. It is about who decides that developing the new technology is safe for the world. And number 12, privacy. It's about the protections of privacy rights. And number 13, security. Uh, it's about uh, diligence acquired to ensure information about the security and number 14 technology transparency uh, it is clearly explaining how a technology works and how its intentions are and number 15 terms of service it is about the ethics related to the legal agreements and my next slide is for ethical issues of the information age number one privacy there are two forces threatening our privacy and one is the growth of information technology it is about the enhanced capacity of surveillance communication computation 
storage and retrieval. And the second and more insidious trait is the increased value of information in decision making. Information is increasingly valuable to the policymakers. They also covet in it even if they are acquiring it invades another privacy. And my next slide is accuracy. Misinformation has a way of falling people's lives. Especially when the party with the inaccurate information has an advantage in power and authority. And number three, property. One of the most complex issues we face as a society in the questions of intellectual property rights. Any individual item of information can be extremely costly to produce in the first instance. Uh, once it is produced, uh, once it is produced that the information has the elusive quality of being easy to reproduce and to share with others. We also currently have several imperfect institutions that try to protect the intellectual property rights. And my next point is access. In an information society, a citizen must possess at, at least three things to liberate. Number one is one must have the intellectual skills to deal with information. These are the key skills such as reading, writing, reasoning, and calculating. Uh, this is a task for education. And the second point is one must have access to the information technologies which stores, convey, and process information. These include libraries, radio, television, telephones, and increasingly personal computers and terminal link via networks to mainframes. This is a problem in social economics. And lastly, the point is finally, one must have access to the information itself. This requirement returns to the issue of property and it is also a problem of social economics. And my next point is, is technology value loaded or value neutral? According to the most research researchers, ethics is known to be value neutral. Explaining that like any tool, it is not the tool itself that does anything of any value. Hence, it's value free, but rather it is the user that is responsible for whatever comes from the using tool. Uh, which means that uh, yeah, I am also thinking that technology is simply another tools in a long line and history of tools that have been available to the preachers for a very long time. What people do with the technology is entirely up to them. Uh, they depend on them. And my next point is what it is can be followed it, in it, it is about the ethics which can be followed by everyone which is right and wrong mm, my point is never piracy online the second one is closure or digital hacking never harm the public websites follow up the social reputation never give misguided information to the internet mm, never create a false evidence using information technology and never create a false evidence using internet technology, certified website who deals with payment, and utilize the information technology in a manner to get benefits only. And the last point is never steal information online for reproduction. Thank you.